Hi, this is Blaine Pacelli, and this is my June 2017 real estate and economic report. Uh, the stock markets had a lackluster week last week. Um, they were mixed, stocks were mixed with all indexes at or near all time highs. Financial stocks rallied after the House voted to scale back on financial regulations and consumer protection in the Dodd Frank Financial Reform Bill. Uh, this now goes to the Senate, but it was the first step in cutting back regulations on financial firms. Energy companies got a boost out of higher oil prices. Tech stocks, which have shown almost a 15% gain since the November election, lost some ground as investors feel they may be nearing their peak value. The dollar strengthened after the United Kingdom election left the Prime Minister in power, but badly tarnished as she lost her majority in Parliament. Political drama dominated the news here once again this week, but aside from all the high TV ratings, political uncertainty has not had any uh, negative effects on the markets. The Feds will meet next week um, in interest rate policy. They may rise um, short-term rates, excuse me, they may raise short-term rates, but fixed 15 and 30 year rate loans are more tied to inflation, which is tame. Um, Fixed rates are the lowest they have been all year and shouldn't move much either way. The uh, Dow Jones average ended last week at 21,271.97. The S&P closed last week at 2,431.77. And the NASDAQ closed last week at 6,207.93. Um, today, the market is a little bit lower than that um, so far. The bond yields rise um, this last week. The 10-year Treasury bond closed the week at 2.21%. The 30-year Treasury uh, ended the week at 2.86%. Um, uh, last week, mortgage rates followed Treasury bond yields, so we watched the bond yields very carefully. Mortgage rates uh, down this week. January 8, 2017, Freddie Mac primary mortgage survey reported that 30-year mortgage rates average was 3.89 percent. The 15-year was at 3.16 percent. The five-year arm has, was unchanged at 3.11 percent. Now Sherman Oaks as a whole, the median sales price of May was 1,125,000. The average days on market for all single-family houses that were sold were 64 days on the market, and the total single-family home sold uh, 37,533.838. So right now the market uh, locally is still very low inventory, as you probably know. The houses that are under a million are selling pretty quick. As long as uh, houses are priced correctly, Houses are selling for more than asking. It's when the houses uh, that come out of the market are way over asking or the way they should be, um, they're just sitting there. The houses in the uh, million and a half and up, they seem to start to uh, start to sit. I think people are kind of curious what's going to go on with the market. You know, uh, average in uh, Los Angeles, every 11, 12 years or so, the market rises. The market starts to fall, and we're starting to hit that 11-year uh, area right now. So people are curious what's going to go on with the market. Is it going to come down? Should we wait? What's going on? I mean, the interest rates are, are incredible right now. I didn't think we'd hit uh, in the threes again once we started rising to the fours, because um, a lot of people were speculating that we'd hit 5% interest rates. But amazingly enough, we're, we're still incredible. I mean... If you can get something in the threes, and uh, if you need a refi right now, this is a great time to refi because I just have a feeling something's going to happen and we're going to hit back up into the fours and it might not ever come back down. So if you have any questions, my name is Blaine Pacelli. Please give me a call, 310-383-6281, or you can email me at sold, S-O-L-D, at blainepacelli.com. That's B-L-A-Y-N-E, P-A-C-E-L-L-I. Dot com. Have a great month, and I'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye.